What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to make a quick disconnect steering wheel for your crazy cart. And we're going to be using a few components from our old crazy cart steering wheel to make our new crazy cart steering wheel. Now this crazy cart steering wheel has a quick disconnect on it from Amazon, a 3D prints and a few bolts and nuts. And let's see how it's made. Let's get to it. So the first thing we have here is all the components. We have our quick disconnect for our steering wheel. We've got some Allen keys. We've got a Sharpie to mark our old steering wheel, caliper to mark 90 millimeters um, from the top of the shaft down. Then we've got six nuts and bolts, and I put those in the description for the sizes. I've got an adjustable and a screwdriver and our 3D print, and this will act as our adapter. So the first thing we want to do is take our um, old steering wheel and mark 90, 90 millimeters from the bottom of the shaft up. And that's what will give us our shaft that we need to input into our adapter. Here's, I'll take it here. And then I'll mark where my point ends. Now, uh, to cut this, um, the first thing you'll wanna do is take out your screw. This is the part that actually uh, pushes against the outer wall of the steering wheel or the shaft of the crazy cart. So we'll take that out and then we'll cut this off at that point we just marked. The reason why we use 90 millimeters is because the shaft can only be so big where the screw in, or the, yeah, the, the bolt inside is only has a certain amount of length. So it'll only go so far. And the adapter actually takes up a certain amount of that gap. So we can only make this shaft so big to fit inside and have the correct size. This is the bolt that I was talking about. I'm gonna use an, uh, an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. Uh, you could use a saw or whatever else you need because there still will be enough gap there to be able to cut. So let's go. So we've cut our uh, steering wheel from the original Crazy Cart one. And now we're gonna to have to put it into our 3D printed part and the 3D printed part is intentionally made smaller. This is so that we can get a super tight fit on it. So the easiest way to do this is to heat up the steering wheel shaft. And we're gonna do that using a blowtorch. You can use a lighter, it's just gonna take a long time because of the thickness of this metal. So I suggest using a blowtorch or some other type of heat source. be good we'll take our part and where the little slit is is what we'll meet with the steering wheel shaft I believe we have hit the bottom of the shaft so you can look through the top of it and you can see whether you've hit the bottom of it and also while I was pushing I could feel it actually getting closer and closer to it let that cool for a little bit. And then we'll start building the top part of it from our Amazon piece that we bought, which is the quick disconnect. So we're gonna take off the top portion of the quick disconnect for now. We'll put this away. And what we're gonna do is put the bottom of the quick disconnect onto the part. Then we'll use our bolts that we got from your local hardware store. And we'll start fitting all of them into their holes.
Perfect. So there we go. Now we've got a full adapter built up. And let's give it a try. I'll line up the portion on here, which is the key slot, and then the key slot on here as well. There we go. It slides really nicely. It's got a lot of grease on it. We'll take this portion and we'll add it to our Sparco steering wheel. Sparco steering wheel quick disconnect on. So now, the big things that we want to remember is the bolt that came with it. Um, we're going to put that down through the shaft. Perfect. What you're trying to make sure is, is that your holes will line up right here so that when you put this down through the shaft and you tighten it, this portion of it, this portion of the shaft is going to expand out and that's what actually holds the shaft into place on the steering wheel. So let's give it a try. Perfect. All right, let's go put it on the crazy car. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button in the bottom. I'll be coming out with a couple more videos soon about the crazy cards, some programming, and maybe another desk type of rebuild. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys. See ya.